Welcome back, Wolves, to day five of the Student Handbook Review. Lockdown procedures. The purpose of the lockdown is to eliminate movement if there is a situation on campus or there is a police activity in the area. Security personnel will secure the perimeter of the campus and all buildings to prevent anybody from coming on campus. If there is a lockdown, administration will maintain in strict communication with the district office and the police department. Dress code. Each year, parents ask for guidelines as they help students select appropriate attire for school. School pride, morale, and image are influenced by the general appearance of students. CUSD wants to provide opportunities for students to express themselves within the set parameters listed below. Vulgar offensive messages. Students shall not wear clothing that displays messages that are vulgar, offensive, obscene, or libelous that demean others on the basis of race, color, religion, creed, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, or disability, that promote alcohol or drug use or violence, or that are otherwise contrary to the school's educational mission. Sagging pants. Students shall not wear pants that, when fastened with a belt, shall sag or fit below the waist. All pants must fit around the waist and be properly fastened. Gang-related attire. Any attire or grooming deemed to be gang-related is prohibited when such attire or grooming creates an atmosphere of threat, intimidation, or undue pressure, or disrupts the educational environment, process, or interferes with curriculum goals or educational objectives. Footwear, jewelry, and accessories. Shoes or sandals must be worn at all times on campus according to state law and for student safety. Body piercing that is a safety hazard and or hinders performance in a classroom is not allowed. Wallet chains are still not allowed. Students shall not wear hats or bandanas in district buildings except for medical or religious purposes. Chandler High School does not allow hats to be worn on campus. Students cannot wear slippers on campus. Students shall not wear hats or head garments on Chandler High School's campus except for medical or religious purposes. Hazing. There shall be no hazing, soliciting to engage in hazing, or aiding or abetting another who is engaged in hazing or any person enrolled, accepted for or promoted to enrollment, or intending to enroll or be promoted to district schools within 12 calendar months. For the purpose of this policy, a person as specified above shall be considered a student until graduation, transfer, promotion, or withdrawal from the district school. Hazing means any intentional knowing or reckless act committed by a student whether individually or in concert with other persons against another student and which both of the following apply. The act was committed in connection with an initiation into an affiliation or the maintenance of membership in an organization that is affiliated with an educational institution. The act contributes to a substantial risk of potential physical injury, mental harm, or degradation, or causes physical injury, mental harm, or personal degradation. Bullying, harassment, intimidation. First, we're going to cover cyberbullying. Any act of bullying committed by the use of electronic technology or electronic communication devices, telephone devices, social networking, internet on school computers, networks, forums, mailing lists, or other district-owned property, and by means of individual personal electronic media equipment. Harassment, intentional disruptive or threatening behavior by a student or students to another student or students includes but are not limited to stalking, hazing, social exclusion, name calling, unwanted physical contact, unwelcome verbal or written comments, photographs and, graf and graphics, harassment, direct or indirect, may be related but not limited to race, religious, orientation, sexual preferences, cultural background, economic status, size, or personal appearance. Intimidation. Intentional behavior by student or students that place another student or students in fear of harm of personal or property may be manifested emotionally or physically, directly or indirectly, and by use of social media as well. Students are prohibited from bullying, harassing, and intimidation others on school grounds, school property, school buses, at school bus stops, at school sponsored events and activities, and through the use of electronic technology 
or electronic communication equipment on school computers, networks, forums, or mailing lists, or social media.